What's up millennials? So in this video, we're going to do something slightly different. We usually talk about the stock market, stocks, cryptocurrency, technical analysis, but today we're actually going to take a look at five of the biggest YouTubers in the world of personal finance, stock market, technical analysis, and all of that kind of things. Because nowadays we don't really learn a lot of information about investing or personal finance on uh, at high school for example right usually when we need something well we go to google we simply put in our question and then we search for the answer or we simply go to youtube and do exactly the same thing but the problem is that there are just a lot of youtubers out there and there's just so much content to choose from so sometimes it's very difficult to know exactly who you should look at and what kind of information you should check out as well so if you're just getting started well i want to help you out a little bit i'm going to talk about five of the biggest youtubers that i personally have learned most from in the last year four of these guys actually talk about things like the stock market personal finance uh, specific stocks as well and there is one person that talks about cryptocurrency and technical analysis so let's get started so before we get started, I actually wanted to tell you that at the bottom of my YouTube channel, you can find a list of YouTubers that I am personally subscribed to and pretty much the YouTubers that I watch almost all videos from, right? And these are at least the subscriptions or the YouTubers that I think could be of value to you. So what you do is you simply go to the channel over here and then you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you can click on subscriptions over here, which will bring you to this list of YouTubers, okay? And we're not going to talk about all of them because these are, well, these are 18 YouTubers, um, but we're going to talk about, well, pretty much almost half of them because some YouTubers even have multiple channels, all right? So let's start out with the first YouTuber, and that is going to be Graham Stephan. He's got three channels, which are shown here as well. He's got the Graham Stephan channel over here with 2.5 million subscribers, uh, the Graham Stephan show with 550k subscribers, and also he's got a, a pretty much a podcast channel, the Iced Coffee Hour, which is also very interesting. Now let's first take a look at this main channel, okay, which is over here. And as I've said before, this channel has almost 2.5 million subscribers. Pretty much the, one of the biggest channels out there if you talk about finance, stock market, etc. Now here he usually talks about things like credit cards. Um, well, personally, I'm not very interested in credit cards because I live in the Netherlands and we don't really use credit cards all that often. Uh, he also talks about real estate. Now, I'm not in real estate myself either, uh, but I do like to see some videos about real estate every now and then so that I know what the pros are uh, actually thinking about the current real estate market, right? And then he also talks about the stock market. He talks about investing, personal finance, things like that. So I usually watch most of those videos. Um, so yeah, basically pretty much anything that has got to do with money, you can basically go to the videos on this channel and uh, he can help you out a lot. Uh, I also bought one of his courses, by the way, to pretty much pay him back a little, um, but of course also to learn more from this guy. So then he also has a second channel, which is the Graham Stephan Show, which is this one over here. Um, this used to be a little bit more diverse, but lately it looks like he's mainly making, uh, yeah, these millennial or the mil millionaire reacts, rather, um, these kind of videos. So that is basically videos about him uh, reacting to videos in which people talk about their personal finance, uh, their spending, things like that. Personally, I'm a little bit less interested in these videos, but well, just check them out and see what you think, right? And then his last channel, his third channel is the podcast channel, which is the Iced Coffee Hour with Jack and Graham Stephan. Uh, Jack is pretty much his like sidekick, so to say. Um, these are podcasts usually about one hour long. Uh, they can, yeah, pretty much cover any topic that you want, but mainly it's based on finance as well, uh, stock market as well. 
Uh, so definitely check these out, especially like the last uh, ones. I really like the Andre Yik one, the financial education one, and the Meet Kevin one. Um, so definitely check these out, okay? And talking about Meet Kevin, he's going to be our second YouTuber of this list of YouTubers I'm going to talk about today. So Meet Kevin, well, he's all about content. He makes a lot of videos. Um, if you just check out all the videos that he's uploaded so far, it's usually like three videos a day or something like that. It's insane. Sometimes he even makes five videos a day. It's super crazy. Um, he mainly talks about things like uh, stimulus checks, for example, which is a very hot topic in the United States right now, of course. Uh, for me personally, it's not very interesting because, well, I live in the Netherlands, so we don't get those uh, stimul stimulus checks over here. But he also talks about the stock market, which is more interesting for me, of course. So I basically watch all of those videos. And yeah, as I said, I, he just makes a lot of content. But even though there's a lot of content, he still makes videos of very high quality. Um, he has really good analyses. Uh, he's a very analytical guy. And well, I also bought one of his courses to uh, pay him back a little and learn more from this guy as well, right? Okay, so definitely check out Meet Kevin as well. That was uh, the second YouTuber of this list of YouTubers. Now let's go to the third one, which is Jeremy from Financial Education. And this guy, just like Graham Stephan, also has three channels right now. He had two, but like a week ago, he created a third channel. So the first one is Financial Education over here, which has about 560,000 subscribers. And here he basically talks about stocks, right? These, and this is like the main topic of this channel. Um, Jeremy is a little bit more on the entertainment side of things, but the content is usually pretty good as well. He usually does a pretty good analysis of the stocks and he pretty much understands the fundamentals of companies quite well as well. As I've said, he's got, main, he's got multiple channels. So let's take a look at financial education number two. Um, here he also talks about stocks, but it might be a little bit more. Um, he also talks a little bit more about like the uh, general information, general stuff about the stock market, also about investing in general. So yeah, basically, if you subscribe to the first channel, you almost also have to subscribe to the second channel, I would say, because a lot of videos pretty much overlap with each other with regards to the content in there. And then, as I've said, he's just released a, a new channel as well, Financial Education 3, uh, which came out like a week ago, pretty much. And this is a channel where he pretty much is going to make videos that he wants to make, but that he can't really upload in his other channels because he says that it might mess up the YouTube algorithm for those channels, right? Because if you, for example, have a, uh, a channel like this one, Financial Education 1, pretty much, and you only talk about stocks, and then all of a sudden you want to talk about entrepreneurship, well, that could mess up the algorithm a little bit because then the YouTube algorithm gets confused, right? Um, then, well, all of a sudden the YouTube algorithm is like, well, you were talking about stocks all the time, now you suddenly talk about entrepreneurship. So I get why he uh, makes these additional channels. Now, this channel might not be relevant for you if you are just into like the stocks and stock market, but well, it could be very interesting still. So definitely check it out and see what you think. All right. Okay. And then the fourth guy and basically these four guys, so Graham, Stefan, Meet, Kevin and Jeremy and also Andre Yik. These, is, uh, these are like pretty much the, the stock squad, as I could call them. Um, these four guys pretty much know each other. They're uh, going to live very closely to each other as well in Las Vegas. I'm not sure if Meet Kevin is also going to live there, but for now, at least Jeremy, uh, Andre Yick and Graham Stefan are going to be located in Las Vegas. So Andre Yick, this guy did insanely well this year. He has right now he's got 940,000 subscribers and he basically started one year ago, I believe. 
Um, he's a little bit more focused on beginner content, I would say. So the videos are a little bit more general as well, I would say. It's not just stocks or just real estate or just personal finance. It's actually a little bit of everything. And what he is good at is he does insane editing and he also combines this with magic tricks. Uh, he comes from the world of cardistry. So basically that are uh, like tricks with cards, I would say. Uh, by the way, if you've seen uh, now you've seen me or now you see me rather, sorry. The, the card tricks that are in there were actually taught by this guy, by Andre Yik. Okay, so by this way, um, by editing the videos really well and adding some card tricks, the videos are very enjoyable to watch and definitely for a beginner audience, right? Okay, so that is it for the stock squad. So those four guys. Um, now let's check out one of the guys who comes from the cryptocurrency world. Although actually, he did come from the world of stocks. Uh, he was actually a market maker on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange Arca. And here I'm talking about Eric Crown, or also uh, simply known as Crown. So he's got cryptos, uh, Crown's crypto cave, rather. He makes uh, daily videos about technical analysis, which mainly is about crypto, mainly Bitcoin. But he also talks about technical analysis on the stock market, right? Because, well, skills in technical analysis are pretty much transferable, pretty much, yeah? Um, if you use technical analysis for crypto, you can also use technical analysis for the stock market. There will be some differences, of course. Not all indicators are inter-exchangeable, I would say. But mostly the technical analysis is very similar. So if he talks about the stock market, it's usually about a SPY, so the ETF for the S&P 500. Also about triple Qs, the ETF for the NASDAQ and some major stocks like Tesla, uh, Microsoft, Apple, because these are the stocks that pretty much move the market, right? Um, personally, I pretty much learned all of my technical analysis from him, from Eric Crown, from Crown, and I also bought his course. But yeah, I, I'm nowhere near his level of technical analysis. He's like light years ahead of me. Uh, and he's a very super funny guy as well, as he's super real. You're not going to see any edited videos from this guy, which I actually like a lot as well. So if you're into technical analysis, then definitely check out Crown's Crypto Cave. All right, so there you go. Five important YouTubers that you should subscribe to if you're interested in the stock market, stocks, investing, personal finance, real estate, credit cards, technical analysis, crypto, anything. But before you leave, actually let me know in the comments who is your favorite YouTuber. It doesn't have to be anyone from this list, of course. All right, just let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.